So I lost a bet recently. I had made a bet that milk chocolate would win the most popular in the last Splatfest, and unfortunately for me, I was wrong, and white chocolate won the whole entire thing. So here I am now doing those challenges that you left on the original video. This is gonna be part one because this challenge in particular was quite lengthy and I think it deserves its own video. It was quite an interesting challenge, so thank you so much for submitting it. So let's get to challenge number one. This is LED of LED Games. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. So the very first challenge that I decided to do was submitted by Maria. And Maria decided to challenge me to bring all of the Splatlings weapons to a one star. And here's the thing, I'm actually in the process of wanting to two star all of my weapons. It's just a personal goal. But I will say, these weapons in particular really scared me when I was going into this challenge because I'm not a backliner. I've never touched any of these weapons, not one, not one of these have I ever touched. And now suddenly I have to one star every single one of them. It's kind of overwhelming. So to complete this challenge, I'm gonna have to one star the mini splatling, the zinc mini splatling, the heavy splatling, hydra splatling, ballpoint splatling, and the nautilus. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give my review and thoughts on each of the weapons and just on the experience as a whole. So wish me luck because I might need it. I first started off with the mini splatling and I actually don't really have much to say about the mini splatling. It was kind of one of those weapons that didn't really leave a lasting impression on me. I didn't feel like I hated it and I didn't think that I loved it either. It was kind of like a middle of the road, okay experience for me. Uh, it was my first time playing with a splatling. This was the very first one that I picked up and I'm glad that this was the first one that I picked up out of all of them because I think it it's a good kind of like middle of the road, especially if you're used to uh, a more traditional shooter. This might be a really great way to kind of like enter into splatling territory. Uh, and so I'm glad I picked this one up. And after a couple hours of gameplay, I did one star the mini splatling. And then after that, I played the heavy splatling, which was very different for me, very different play style. I went into it knowing that I was gonna have to be a backliner and actually, I kind of loved it. I kind of loved it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it actually, um, more than I thought I was going to. With the mini splatling, it was kind of this like in between of wanting to get close because it's it doesn't have as long of a range uh, while also having to manage the charge up time. While with the heavy splatling, I, I very clearly knew my role and I knew what I was doing. And uh, I just found it very easy to navigate. I, I ended up really liking it actually. Um, more than the mini splatling. I, I would pick up the heavy splatling before I picked up the mini splatling. After that, I picked up the Hydra and let me just say, this surprised me. This absolutely surprised me. I loved the Hydra. I loved the Hydra. Literally, I was over here saying, like, I think I might main the Hydra. I, I'm not really going to main it, but it's like one, it's one of my favorites from this entire video. It was so much fun. I remember my very first time ever playing with it. I got like 19 kills and um, that, it was just a blast. It was a blast to just be able to, I got a quad at one point, like, wow, it was, uh, it was great. It was the weapon that I was able to one star the fastest and I just had a great time with this. And then onto the one that took me the longest <laughs> and the one that I hated the most, which was the ballpoint splatling. I hate this weapon a lot, actually. I don't know how to play with it. I spent way too long trying to one star this. It was actually a, a complete struggle. I felt like I was just playing game after game after game. Like it just wouldn't end. And I was playing with a friend, Rocker Ray, check him out by the way if you haven't. And uh, man, we were in a lot of games together and I was just trying to get this to work for me. One of the reasons I don't like the ballpoint splatling is its aim accuracy. When, when you first charge it up and you're starting to shoot, it really kind of sprays to begin with. And then after time, it, it gets a little bit more concentrated, a little bit more, the ink gets more focused. But those first like couple seconds really messed me up because I'm definitely that type of person that I like to kind of get into somebody's face. I like to be able to get somebody quicker rather than like that delayed, that delayed splat, which 
this this weapon just didn't work for me for a lot of ways. I'm glad I don't have to pick it up again until I guess I want to maybe get its hollow sticker eventually or just get to two stars. But it was my least favorite. I do not recommend, especially if you kind of play like how I do. After that, I decided to pick up the Nautilus, and the Nautilus was fun. I I liked it a lot. It it wasn't my favorite as much as the Hydra, but it was a close second. It was a close second. And honestly, this entire experience has just showed me the duality and like just it's honestly just instilled in me why why I very passionately believe that every single weapon has its place and its player. Because even though like my favorite weapons are like really kind of like up close, like splat, wham, bam. I love the Hydra now. I love the Nautilus. I love the heavy splatling. I feel completely fine picking them up now when before I had never even touched them and I never even wanted to touch them. And the Nautilus was just so much fun. I just loved it. And not to end on a bad note, but the Zinc mini splatling, not... Not my favorite, not my favorite. The ball point is definitely my least favorite, but Zinc is probably like the second to least favorite. It's not that I was bad at the weapon, like I was okay at it, but I just didn't have as much fun with it as I do other weapons. And so it's just not, it's not worth it to me if I'm not really enjoying my time. But we did get there, we one started. it. I'm very thankful that I had to do this challenge. It took days to finish this challenge and Honestly, there's a lot of highlights from those couple days that I am going to be showing here on screen, but even way more that I wasn't able to show. And I just, I, um, it's challenges like this that make me very happy and uh, just really instill in me why I love Splatoon so much. Uh, the variety and just how much you can continue to learn and enjoy in this game. It's just wonderful. So I recommend doing this challenge if you haven't already. Uh, if you're if you've never touched the, this like certain weapon class, pick one up. Try with the Hydra. <laughs> try with the Hydra. I love the Hydra. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.